there is nothing like reading a job vacancy and feeling that you could be the perfect candidate for the job so you apply send a thank you email and then the wait begins hey Unfortunately, a lot happens when you are looking for a job. The hiring process can drag on for weeks and sometimes months. If you really want to know if you stand a chance of getting a job, you should follow up on your job application. Of course, you want to follow up without coming across as pushy during a time when the hiring managers already have their hands full. But there are steps you can take to follow up on your job application without ruining your chances of landing a new job starting right now just because you sent an application or spoke with the HR manager doesn't mean that you are friends being personal or casual is a mistake recruiters and hiring managers are friendly and it's their job to talk to several people about a position. They don't, however, have time to become personal friends with everyone they interview. Even if your initial interactions was good, be professional and respect personal boundaries when following up on a job application. While you might want to follow up on a job application, just a few days after submitting it you should probably wait a little longer unless the job posting specifically states that the application closing window in which case that gives you a target date for follow-up waiting about a week or two before following up on applications is good give the hiring team enough time to review applications There are days you should avoid following up with someone. They are Mondays and Fridays. Monday is often a busy transition day as people move back into work mode. As for Friday, if the person doesn't see your email, it may get buried at a week's worth of emails. Ideally, stick with Tuesdays through Thursdays for following up on job applications. It's a good idea to know what you are going to say before following up on a job application. So, whether you opt to call the hiring manager, draft an email, or send a LinkedIn message, try to keep your message as brief as possible. It's important to keep your correspondence short as recruiters are likely to receive emails and notes from many candidates as well. So, being brief is key. Your email or note should express two key things. One, your continued interest in the job, and two, a question about the candidates, uh, what the candidates can expect to hear about the next steps. Before you follow up, reread the job description. Pay attention to dates or timelines included in the posting. In the company posting, a company may mention when the application window closes. Once you apply, you wouldn't want to follow up prior to that date. Instead of following up, use the time to keep applying for, that, for other positions that match your qualifications. Though a lot of companies are still hiring during the pandemic, the hiring process has really slowed down. Please keep that in mind as you follow up on your applications. Recruiters may not have any information to share or they have found out that you don't fit the position you applied to. Understand it's hard on everyone right now and recruiters may not have useful information for you. Use social media platforms like Facebook and uh, Twitter. Follow their Twitter feed. In today's job market, companies want to find an employee with the right 
professional skill set and someone who fits in their company culture. Showing and expressing interest in the company can be done by engaging with them on social media platforms. In some cases, the job listing might state that applications should not call or email for their application status. You know, don't call us, we will call you. <laughs> you should abide by the employer's wishes and don't follow up. Although it can be frustrating to wait, you should not follow up even though you really want to. If you ignore the request, the recruiter may think you either did not read the job listing carefully or you don't follow directions at all. If you haven't heard back about your job application after two weeks, it's acceptable to call the hiring manager unless the listing states otherwise. You need a different strategy if someone picks up the phone or voice note. While you may feel like you are disturbing the recruiters, knowing how to follow up on a job application could be the difference between getting interviews and not making any progress. Following up is an, ex an expected part of the application process, so be proactive about getting the job and you won't and know when to look. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Subscribe if you haven't and share this video with your friends and let me know in the comments section down below if the tips will have helped to you. See you in the next video. Peace.